It must have been that I was very good this year because... Zhao Shanghao, Ni Hao Ma. I remember Zhao Shanghao from the last vlogmas actually. It's kind of been kind of useful. How are you all this morning, my loves? Hope you're all better than me because this morning has been kind of crazy for you, girl. It's already past 12 and I haven't even started vlogging today, which is very stressful. Dealing with a lot of different things, like I'm on my third copy. I had to write a list of everything we need to do this morning because there's a lot. I had to send some content that needs to be kind of pre-proof for some jobs. Spoke to one agency, another agency. There's so many things happening in my head that I'm trying, like it's like, you know, when you have a browser with so many tabs open, that's what it is. But I actually kind of like it when it's like this. You know, I'm used to it. Without further ado, let's read my horoscope for the day because I have a feeling that I'm gonna need the help of the stars. My favorite horoscope app, which by the way is this one, it says daily horoscope. I don't know if it will focus, but this is what it looks like. If it doesn't focus, we will insert the thing. The smaller details of a big project could be getting to you now, Pisces. Ordinarily, you will dedicate yourself to every small thing because you know that ultimately it will create the best outcome. But if it's getting to you, there is no harm in giving direction to someone you trust and asking them to follow through for you. That's gonna be you, Vlado. You're wow. gonna have to be finishing some projects for me because that's what my horoscope says. Really? Yeah. Okay. And your horoscope now? Yeah. Do you, know <laughs> <laughs> you do. It says you do have other things to do, so this would be a great time for delegating. So it's not you know it's not even me you'll still achieve the result you're aiming for it's going to be a lot of work i've written everything on the list let's open the advent calendars and let's start with a fabulous day today day 10 we're almost halfway through two more days so yesterday we got the shampoo today is the amino acid conditioner it's elixir nail and cuticle oil oh i have a lot of them at the moment but still quite nice so well hidden can you see Number 10, there we go. A beautiful, beautiful bubble. Current outfit situation is this. You will probably see it also in the real mass. I am wearing my beloved, I think like this is like last year's Dior cashmere knit. I love it so much. The new YSL belt that you saw, these baggy baggy jeans from Subi with Amina Muadi new boots and the massive Chanel bag. I'm also going to have my Saint Laurent Grey coat, which I had and I took it off. I have no idea where. Today, I'm also kind of layering different kinds of jewelry. I've got my paved chamere ring here, Cartier Jusson Clou, and the one that I got from my sister for my 30th birthday. On the other hand, I have a pretty similar chamere stacking as you could see it yesterday, so that is it. It's so freezing outside, we were just shooting, and honestly, my hands are frozen. Yours, Vlado? Yes. <laughs> it's like cold, it's miserable, but hopefully, gonna be good. Now, I wanted to go and get some Christmas stuff from Le Bristol but today is closed again so we're gonna have to go and do that tomorrow. Hopefully you guys can hear me because whenever I have a mask on you tell me that you can't hear me very well so you can't please everybody. We are back. We wanted to actually get some food outside as well. We understood that the episode works only from tomorrow, I think. So I will take you with me to check it out. Sorry, I keep promising every day, but it's not done to me, I promise. Wanted to show you actually this scarf. It's the first time that I'm wearing it. It's one that I got from Dior for Christmas. I love it so much. It's kind of like a very, it's not really quite a navy blue color. It's more of a very interesting blue. Not sure if you can really nicely see it, but love it. Also for the first time I'm wearing this belt and the Amina booties. Kind of wanted to take a picture as well in this look, but it was so cold outside. I think it's now, it's gone in Paris from like being never ending summer to freezing cold. Today is like very weird because then we wanted to get some food in like a little corner shop and everything looked very, no. So I said, okay, like we'll order something on Deliveroo. 
I'm not cooking today. <laughs> what happened next is that, of course, all the restaurants are closed. So I was like, mm. but in Paris, there's always some kind of holiday or some in France, like they always have some kind of holiday. So I, I suppose it's a holiday and we managed to actually find a restaurant that is open. Food is coming, we're working and creating content and having fun and that's it. The glamorous life, Vlado, of our lunch break, we ordered from Love Juice Bar. Uh, it's not sponsored, I'm just saying, for whoever wants to know, some avocado toasts and um, some kind of healthy as well things. I haven't even put them in the plate because it's four o'clock and this is like the proper meal that I'm eating today because today's been so freaking hectic. But sometimes there are days like that and sometimes, you know, it's just as, the, as my horoscope said, delegate. So I'm delegating to you, Vlado, as much as you can. And um, we're eating the same. Yours looks a bit depressed no. or oh. painted. Wait. It looks like it Fault. collapsed. It's great now. <laughs> I'm working behind two computers and I'm gonna like give it a little break while I eat. So, goodbye to this. Once Vlado leaves, I will actually update you on other things in my life that I'm sure you guys want to know because some of you are saying that my everyday is the same, but actually my everyday is kind of the same right now when there are no restaurants, no clubs, no clubs, I mean, I never go to clubs, no events, no nothing, you know, no dates. Oh, my mom is calling me. Okay, I really have to answer now. Well, today's vlog is going to be a massive fail. That is if I don't actually... Um, think of something now and honestly I don't even know what to think of I don't want to like I said before to you guys I don't want to fake anything I don't want to pretend that I'm doing something that I'm not doing I left house today for 20 minutes the rest of the day was work and that's usually how December is for me I have to say that for me month of December is a lot about really creating the content I don't know when I'm not traveling I'm just really creating content as you could have seen I've changed today like 25,000 times and honestly uh, yeah it's one outfit worse than the other well not really like some outfits were good but now it's just kind of like whatever I feel cozy and comfy in because I'm at home so I also wanted to address some things that you guys are asking me a lot and it's a lot to do with motivation with uh, work and with achieving goals I wanted to get back to some of your questions which are uh, like I said, a lot about career, work and stuff like that. And I realized that a lot of you are preparing for exams and for work at this time of the year, which is very hard to get motivated at this time of the year. Wow, I graduated nine and a half years ago. I was gonna say like, I forgot which time are the exams of the year. I mean, from what I remember, not from what I remember, from what it is, my exams used to be end of January and beginning of June. I never failed an exam in my life and not because I was like a super student that studies always on time but I had an amazing system, very very good system where I would really 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 sit and prepare and organize my time very well so I think that really helped me a lot. I wanted to respond to some questions not all about studying and motivation but also about pushing yourself in life and I don't know, like, I don't think, if you ask me personally, I don't think I'm someone that should be teaching you that knows better than anybody else, but I'm here to share my experiences and what I think I have done right in life. What do you think is the most important thing for excelling at university long term? I, I think my answer is maybe not going to be uh, giving you a great, like, satisfaction. But if you're just starting university or I don't know, even if you're not starting university, but to excel at university, I think there's only one thing that matters the most and that is surrounding yourself with really hardworking, smart people. If you surround yourself in school, university, work with people that are lazy, unambitious, non-ambitious, uh, people who don't have big like aspirations in life, people who want to party and drink and not study, you will be the same, 100%. First of all, my best friend was already a pharmacist in Greece, so she was already very, very uh, well with like education and she could help me whenever I didn't kind of, when I needed help in class. And my other best friends were all very serious, straight Nigerian students who were like, we want to get the first class diploma and we're going to study a library every day. So 
I didn't have much option. I had to do the same. And honestly, when I wouldn't be at the library, they would call me and they'd be like, or they would tell me next day, like, I'm sorry, like, why were you not at the library yesterday? Like, it was a very bad thing. So I think the most important thing when it comes to uh, succeeding in life in general is you need to surround yourself with people who also want to be successful in life, who are hardworking, who are have something to share with you. Everybody, like, if you look at my team, my team is full of successful, ambitious people in their own light. Like, I'm so proud of them because they fight for themselves, because they work and they have achieved a lot. They have come far. I'm sorry that I keep changing million frames. I'm just like, cause I'm in such short shorts. I don't want to like flash anyone. And yeah, that's basically what's on my um, mind all the time. How did you know where your career is gonna go? Fashion is very unpredictable and I'm curious to hear how you endured doing all of these years. Okay, this is a very good question. So when I started my vlog, first of all, I didn't know it was gonna end up being my job, but I was always very ambitious. I was at university in my second year when I told my friend Cynthia, the one who I just mentioned before, I told her how I wanna have a business. So. I told her in my second year of uni, I said like, let's start a business. She comes from an affluent family and I said, maybe we can, you know, uh, put like money together and we start our own business, like put our pocket money together and start a business. So she said, yeah, I also want to do something. So we had this idea of kind of starting a business where we would import like, I mean, this is so like, whatever. We would import all of these like t-shirts like, I think it was like Polo Ralph Lauren, this is so weird now, and kind of create a little business because uh, it was a completely different price in the UK and they were very trendy back then, like 12 years ago. So we were discussing so many different business ideas and in the end, of course, we didn't do them. But uh, I already had at that point, like a really strong urge inside of me to have a business and you know what I think I believe that it doesn't matter if you already have very early on right idea I didn't have the right idea I had an idea that I'm gonna sell t-shirts but that idea you know kept my brain going from t-shirts to something else to something else to something else then I discovered like youtubers who were doing mac lipstick swatches and reviews then i thought okay i'm gonna do a youtube channel then i'm gonna do a blog and so on and so on and you know the brain kept going i think there's no idea like there's no such thing as bad idea because any kind of idea as, lo as long as it's legal <laughs> because any kind of idea keeps you going you know you're going and then you change it like for example with the most like bizarre thing when making reels we come up with an idea concept and then as we're filming it we keep changing it and then in the end it's something completely like the best idea ever <laughs> maybe not but at least it seems like that for me you know it like develops and i think that's how it is with business you need to start you just need to start because until you start, you cannot keep developing the idea. How do you choose your business moves, collaborations that will be successful for your career? Oh, I'm very, 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 it's very easy for me now. It was not so easy before, but I always have a list of brands that I wanna work with and I don't stray from that list. So every December 31st, I sit down and I write a list of goals for the next year. I sit down, I write all the brands, I write all the like kind of things that I want to achieve, the milestones. They're not very number related because you will notice that I'm not very much a person of quantity. I am not someone, I like try to do a lot more kind of heavy like luxury things, which is what I personally enjoy. I could never do something that I don't enjoy. That's good and bad, you know, because I see people who advertise things that I'm like, oh my God, how can you even have stomach to advertise that like don't you feel bored filming it because to be honest i can only like put on something that i actually enjoy so if i don't enjoy it it's kind of a goodbye for me but yeah i guess we're not all the same and that's okay and i really really think that in this particular business there are kind of three things that you need you need to be hard working to create regular content i'm sure there are influencers that you know and follow that are great and you love watching their content because they're very talented but they're not regular with posting and then you're annoyed because they never post they post once a month it's annoying then they disappear then they come back then they're posting then they're not posting and that is something to do with i would say 
sorry if I can, I'm, I don't want to offend anybody, but I think it's, you know, something to do with consistency and hardworkingness. So you need that, you know, because you need to be regular. If you're not posting and if you're not putting effort, you're just not going to really succeed. Another thing that you have to be is talented because you need to know what are the trends in the video scene. You need to know what are the trends in the um, photo scene. And that's just some sort of talent. Like it requires an eye because within the circles of the fashion industry, there are sort of things that brands and people who are really into aesthetics, they look at and they think like, this is horrible. And you need to understand that. So that requires some sort of talent. And the third thing that I think is very important, if not the most important, I would say in every business, is the strategic thinking. Strategic thinking is extremely important because if you're not thinking long term and if you're not thinking what can you invest in the future, then you're not gonna make it. If I'm promoting like today a 15 euro dress that is bad quality and ripping off, I cannot promote tomorrow, like no high-end luxury brand is gonna ask me to promote something from them. It's a very, very simple concept. And I think that, you know, um, you just need to choose your path and you need to have that thinking of like smartness and sharpness to know which way you are going. Besides that, it is um, also very important to have the good timing. Good timing is everything. But at the same time, sometimes, you know, if, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be good enough <laughs> as long as you have all the other three. The talent, the perseverance, and the strategic thinking. How do you motivate yourself when you really cannot move and do not want to do anything? I think this is a very frequent question in pretty much every video. Um, but I do understand why. Uh, how do you motivate yourself when you are eating badly? When you're not moving much? How do you motivate yourself when you are not studying enough? When you are not working on yourself? When you are not investing in yourself? How do you work on a foreign language when you just don't want to? You know, it's it's hard. You need to motivate yourself for anything and everything that you do. And I think the most important thing is to have a very, very clear goal ahead of yourself. So if you need to lose weight, you need to have a clear picture of yourself, what you want to look like and why. You need to connect it to some emotional feeling inside of you, like why do you want to look like that? Not just like I want to look like Kate Moss and that's it, bye, I mean, which I, by the way, do not want to look like, <laughs> personally. I think like you need to connect everything in life to a feeling. So, you know, some kind of anger maybe, or maybe a little bit of proud, like pride, or uh, why do you want to pass all of your exams? Because you want to spend the whole summer on the beach? Of course, for me that was always my ultimate number one reason. Like every summer I wanted to go to Spain, particularly to Barcelona. So every single summer that was, every single exam term, that was my biggest motivation. Like always eyes on the prize, always. When I moved to Paris, I didn't even plan it. I didn't even know I wanted it. But for the last two years, the desktop picture of my computer was Paris. And that's the craziest thing. So I think it's very important to always have the eyes on the price. I'm not gonna bore you anymore with this. Those are my opinions. I appreciate that some of you might have them different and feel free to let me know. Guys, you're not gonna believe this. I mean, I don't believe it, I'm in focus. So yesterday was like Saint Nicholas in, I guess in France as well, I don't know, because in Serbia we celebrated on like uh, at the end of December. And we don't normally get gifts. For us, it's just like a very family kind of thing. But, uh, so I, I was joking how like all of my friends got something for Saint Nicholas and I was not doing this just so that I get gifts, I promise. But today I found something in my, in my fireplace stocking. And it must have been that I was very good this year because I got, like I literally cannot believe this. And it's so, I know that this is impossible to buy. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. It's the new iPhone. Look, but how did you get it? It's sold out everywhere. This is my favorite. It's the color of my laptop, the graphic, the nice no, perfection. Today, I received two big packages and I have no idea what's inside because these are gifts. 
but I see the DHL has repacked them. That sometimes happens and is annoying because I always wonder, do they take something out of it? From what I gathered, these are gifts from Mentaporte. Oh my God, the chocolate is so good. One more. No, I'm sticking with my healthy Tamara. I cannot wait to see what's inside. Oh my God, this is so freaking cool. Wow, maybe you're also gonna love this. I will link everything below. So this was in one box. I think it's very cool. And I mean, obviously it's too cold for it now, but look how cool when it's closed. Just checked everything else. I got a hot pink um, Zainab Arce, I think, um, knit dress. But truth be told, I don't really wear this color. I mean, I don't think it suits me. So I will probably ask my sister if she wants it, truth be told, because it's not really like, um, I don't think it's my color. I don't like wearing actually red and hot pink. And I know that for, for sure someone now will find a picture of me like 10 years ago when I wore hot pink and say like, but you wore it. It's not that I never wore it. It's just that, you know, people change and grow up. And for some reason, you know, you don't really wear the same stuff that you wore before. When it comes to um, uh, another dress that I got, I got this like leather one on one shoulder. It's a little bit rocky, which I kind of like, but I hope I will have an opportunity to actually wear a dress again. And then, oh my God, these are trousers. This is actually quite... Cool. like baggy Roland Moray navy trousers. I am so exhausted from this day and I don't know why when I think I haven't actually shown you anything that had happened except that I got my new phone. I'm so happy. The best part of today is ta-da! Thank you baby because it was so unexpected. It's so unexpected. It's so I honestly don't know how you got it, but well done you. Very happy. Uh, we're gonna now take some pictures, you know, better quality. Gonna yeah. relax, watch The Crown. Um, and yeah, I will try and make sure that I say goodnight before I go to bed. Tomorrow is gonna be a better day because we're going to town. I need to do quite a few things. We're working on our Christmas wish list. Two of us, so. So watched an episode and a half and honestly realized it's 15 minutes past midnight i'm exhausted haven't even removed my makeup yet can you tell my lashes are growing by the way so long because i'm back to my full routine some of them are so long that it sometimes looks very weird anyway off topic at the end i had a very good day so yeah i just wanted to say thank you for watching um, tomorrow is going to be super exciting because we are going out from the early morning and we're going to stay out getting a lot of stuff done around the city. I'll see you tomorrow. Might even go a bit of shopping. And um, stay well. Bye guys.